Assalamu alaikum, this is Asun Aslam Yamun again and you are watching my university project demonstration playlist. Anyway, in this video I am going to demonstrate my computer vision and pattern recognition final project. The project title is Image Super Resolution using Auto Encoder. The main idea of this project is to find a way to generate a model trained on auto encoder by comparing image pairs of low resolution image and high resolution images resulting in learning a to predict a high quality image from a low quality image and you can see these are my group members so here is the list of our libraries that we have include first you can see the os then the re then spicy then sky image and matplotlib then numpy then the TensorFlow, you know TensorFlow is a free and open source software library for data flow and differentiable programming across a range of tasks. So in this part we are importing all these libraries and in this part we are going to build a encoder. In this encoder the input image size will 2 pp6 and 2 pp6 and this is the code for our encoder and here you can see uh, this is the summarization of our encoder now we are going to build an auto encoder and the auto encoder will consist of both encoder and decoder and we are considering this auto encoder as our model you can see this part of the code is our basically is our model this is our model summarization now we are going to compile our auto encoder and going to train our auto encoder also so after train our model we have set that hdf5 file in our os and from this part of code we are going to load that hdf file using encoder we are predicting the trained data and uh, here we are taking a uh, random value actually the random value is the image value now we are taking this value for comparing our result with the test image uh, this is the input image and here is the output here is the comparison part and for comparison we are using different kinds of function or algorithm like narrow stable algorithm or uh, linear or bicubic here you can see the results so data comparison of a image that image we collected from random google search here you can see we collected this image from random google search and we also implement our auto encoder over this image and here you can see uh, this is the input image here you can see the output of our superposition image we also to measure the equilibrium distance between these two images and here you can see the results and that's it. Thank you.